Salve fellow YouTubers, 93 Monster Mike here with another toy review. But before I get started, I want to give my sincerest of condolences to the friends and family of Leonard Nimoy. I was just made aware today of the unfortunate passing of this great man. So, Leonard Nimoy, live long and prosper. My dad was a very big fan of Star Trek, not only the original series, but also the next generation, yada yada, but I digress. I'm going to miss him, though. Leonard Nimoy, anyway. But back to the review. So this is the review of the NECA, N-E-C-A, Godzilla 1985 figure. Bit of a controversial figure. For those who have seen previous videos of this guy of di from different users, they they would know why. So why don't we start off with the packaging, which is which is kind of reminiscent of the Bandai Creation sort of thing, you know? Like, is there some sort of partnership thing going on? Like, there's the uh, Wave Five 1954 Godzilla. Seems. Same colors and artwork on the clamshell packaging, and there's a pretty nice, nice look of the much better prototype. Because I'm very well aware that, like every, with, along with everybody else, that there was an, another prototype which had a much longer neck, smaller head, and, and ugh, it was just, it was just so grotesque. Then you got all your legal, legal jargon, jargon, yada yada, blah blah blah, choking hazard, age 14 and up. Yeah. Oh, I also got this as a belated Christmas gift from a very loving relative. In case any of you are wondering. Now onto the figure itself. And I'm gonna start off with detail. So I can see in the skin texture, it looks very, very nice. All the uh, tree bark, like linear bumps, the uh, rounded scale, rounded scales there, the folds. The skin texture looks really good, and the spinal plates also look good as well, even though they're just a just a tiny bit short. Hands look okay, and I know Goji Fan ninety three made some made a complaint that the arms don't exactly look very well. The one thing that really stands out with this figure is definitely the head. It it screams 1984. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That, that looks great. He's definitely got all the fangs, the huge brows, the menacing look. I mean, look at that. That, that looks almost like the Cybot Godzilla and the actual suit itself. Heck, it's even got some detail in, in the roof of the mouth right there. Look at that. Although, something that does kind of that does kind of bug me is that this toenail is this toenail right here. I mean, what's up with that? But there is something that may be able to solve this. Hair dryer technique. Because I know Chris Elchison, aka Hunty, aka Masking Tape Monsters, sometimes he uses a hair dryer to fix up some of the NECA figures. And also the legs. The thighs are okay, but the forelegs are a little, little small. Also, the tail is kind of short. It's not long like 2014 Godzilla. See what I mean? What happened? But there is some good detail here. Detail, I'm going to have to give it 3.5 out of 5. Paint job, it's good. Let's leave it at that. This, uh, sort of flesh or pale flesh-like color for the nails, same for the teeth, white irises, white, white, the, you know, the white for the eye, brown irises and black pupil, pink tongue, overall charcoal gray for the body with a 
few highlights of like a dark bluish, gr dark blue sort of thing. Then like a bony blue for the spinal plates. So yeah, paint job, I'm going to have to give that a 5 out of 5. Now for the articulation. Since a lot of you like that. Like any Godzilla figure, or like some of the most current Godzilla figures, like SH Monster Arts or whatever, he does have a movable jaw, which is great. He has a ball joint in the head, ball joint in the neck, ball jointed el uh, shoulders, uh, pin and socket elbow, ball joint wrist. Oh, it's a little stiff. Ball joint in the diaphragm. Oh, I also want to point out, some people are going to complain that the spinal plates here are going to rub against each other. Well, there's a solution. Just move it a little forward, and there you go. Now there's some space. At least you can go forward, back, or rotate a little. They can also go in and out thanks to the ball and socket joint. Knees are a pin and socket, and they're incredibly stiff. But there's also, but the legs can go, or the feet can go forward and back. He's also got ankle pivot! I don't know why people are making such a big fuss about that. Shardimus Prime. And the tail has four ball and socket joints, and then the rest is a tail. So there's a ball and socket joint here, 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 and here. And then there's a ball and joint here, and the rest is a wire. Why is that? I mean, if Otachi has a segmented tail like, like like this, and what is up with that? I hope, I kind of hope Neko won't continue the bendy tail thing for the Godzilla figures, because I know over time the wire is going to break. Excuse me. So in terms of sizing, this figure stands at about six and a quarter inches tall. From hip to hip, he's about three inches wide. And like this, he's about nine, nine, and a, nine and a half inches long. But from snout to tail, like this, he's about a foot long. Wait a minute. There we go. give you guys an idea of how big this guy stands up to your fig to other figures like Ekka's 2014 Godzilla they are more or less the same height of course this Godzilla would be not up to here you know what I mean but just for laughs and giggles here he is here he is facing Dralagon my original monster of course, Dralagon would be up to here. Yeah, right there. Okay. For price and availability, this guy retails at about 20 bucks. You can find him at Toys R Us, Big Bad Toy Store, or any other online place like Amazon or eBay. So if you really want to get a Godzilla 1985-84 figure, you could go for the Memorial Box version, of course. But of course, that one's pretty rare and very, very pricey, but... This is a pretty good substitute. And, other, and also on the bright side, it's got more posability. It's also a lot cheaper, readily available. Even though there are some minor nitpicks here and there, it's still overall a good figure. So from what, from, so from the scores that I mentioned earlier, his this overall rating for this figure, I'm gonna give it a. Uh, Three, no, a four out of five. No, 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 better yet, 3.75 out of five. That's pretty much all I got I got for this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and also subscribe to 93 Monster Mike if you want to see more videos. If you have any requests, feel free to put it into the comment section below of my Lego creations or any figures I want you want you want to see me review based on my collection video. So until then, voila!